American Labrador versus English Labrador. It's time to make a choice. Which one is the better breed? The American Retriever or the English Retriever? Now, before anyone starts arguing, it would be good to know what are the differences between the two dogs. Actually, it would be better to start by asking if there's a difference in the first place. Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content. The Labrador Retriever is famous for being every family's ball of sunshine. They'll play with the kids outside, cuddle with mom while she reads, or watch dad work in the garage. Even if you're alone, nothing beats the love and affection of a lab. With such a popular breed and a great reputation, you might be wondering what all the fuss is about. Some people have noticed that not all Labradors are the same. There are the American Labradors and the English Labradors. Now before you start picking sides, is there really a difference? Whatever they may be, all Labradors come from the same place, and it's not the US or UK. They come from Canada. Labradors originated from Newfoundland, Canada, and were the best friends of fishermen. If you lived in Newfoundland during the 1800s, you would have seen these hardworking guys helping fishermen pull nets, catching fish that jump out of the bucket, or hunting ducks. English nobles eventually came around and saw how amazing the Labradors were. They loved them so much that they brought a couple of them home to England and started showing everyone their new Labradors. It was around this time that the Labradors got their name, but even now we don't know where the word Labrador came from. The name just stuck around long enough and no one batted an eye. The American Kennel Club has called the breed the Labrador Retriever. The males can grow as tall as 24.5 inches, while the females go up to 23.5 inches. Males would weigh around 80 pounds, while the females go up to 70. They're medium-sized, and many people would say that they're the perfect balance between small and cute to large and cool. Labs are known to have lots of energy. They just love going out to parks for a game of fetch. If you have kids in the house, your lab can keep up with all the crazy antics they come up with. Be warned though, these guys might just have too much energy. They could be quite destructive if you don't give them the needed playtime, which might just be all the time. The most famous trait of any Labrador is its temperament. They're known to be one of the friendliest dogs in the world. The breed standard says that the ideal temperament would be kind, gentle, eager to please, and non-aggressive. It also says that they're intelligent and adaptable. Overall, the ideal dog. So what's the big deal between English labs and American ones? The truth is that there's no official classification between them. As far as the kennel club or any official dog club is concerned, both of them are exactly the same. Labradors come in all different shapes and sizes. While they're the same breed, the training and physicality might vary. Generally, English Labradors are best for pageants, while the Americans are better suited for hunting and sports. Professionals prefer the distinction of field versus show dogs just to make the names more appropriate. This doesn't mean that the English labs are useless in sports or the Americans won't do well in the pageants. It all depends on the training. Some of the key distinctions are physical. English labs are generally stockier. They have blockier bodies with thick legs, thick necks, thick coats, and shorter body length. American labs are the opposite. They have a lean body, longer legs, a narrower skull, longer muzzle, and a thinner coat. The Americans were also trained to be better at hunting. As if regular labs weren't already a handful, the American variant has even more energy than the English lab. It'll get cranky real fast if you don't take him out for a game of fetch or a long walk in the park. If you're a first-time dog owner, it might be better to get an English Labrador. They're not as wild and rowdy as their American cousins. Perfect for dog shows, English labs easily understand commands and are generally considered to be more mellow than any other Labrador. Whether they're English or American, all labs are friendly and outgoing. The breed standard says that if the lab isn't friendly to people, you might as well not call it a Labrador. Whatever you choose, the same rules for taking care of a lab apply. Always give them a bath at least once a week. All Labradors have a tendency to shed their fur, so be ready to start cleaning your house when it's shedding season. Labs do not have any particular diseases that are special to them. Some labs might have a condition called exercise-induced collapse, EIC, so you might want to get your canine buddy tested just to be sure. Like any dog with a large chest, labs are prone to a condition called bloat. This is when there's a lot of air in the stomach and could be potentially deadly for your dog. 
If you have either an English lab or an American lab, just be happy in knowing that you have one of the most loyal and loving dog breeds in the whole world. They could be athletic powerhouses or pageant champions, but your lab will always see you as their best friend. Thanks for watching us here at Smart Dog Lover. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content.